Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you about the fourth topic of immunotechnology, which is called as immunofluorescence, right? So in this video, let us discuss totally in detail about immunofluorescence and what is the procedure which is involved in it. So actually, first let us learn about the definition of the immunofluorescence technique. It is a technique which is mainly used to measure the concentration of the antigen or as amount of antigen by the intensity of the fluorescence. So we can measure the concentration of the antigen only when the intensity of the fluorescence is known. So what is meant by this intensity of the fluorescence? Actually, what is meant by fluorescence? Fluorescence, the visible or invisible radiation produced from the certain substances is called as fluorescence. So what is meant by immunofluorescence? The visible or invisible radiation produced from the antibodies is called as immunofluorescence. As if you see in the case of the definition here, the visible or invisible radiation produced from the antibodies is called as immunofluorescence. See, all of these definitions you can understand when I am going to explain you the procedure. So when, while explaining the procedure, again I will come to this definition such that you can easily understand what I am saying. Right now, this immunofluorescence technique will be explained in two different types of techniques, like direct technique as well as indirect technique. So now let us learn about the direct technique. So before entering into this direct technique, you have to know about the basic thing of the antibody, where this antibody consists of the FAB and as well as the FCN. FAB is nothing but the antigen binding site, where the antigen will get binded over to this site. Hence, it is site. Hence, the site is called as FABN right and fcn and here in this fcn what you are going to do is that you are going to add the fluorophore tag so why you are going to add the fluorophore tag to produce the intensity of the fluorescence so what i have said in the definition here this concentration of the antigen can be known only by the intensity of the by knowing the intensity of the fluorescence so how you can know the intensity of the fluorescence by adding the fluorophore tag at the fc end of the antibody right so before going into the apparatus making of the procedure firstly what you are going to do is that you are going to take the antibody solution and to that antibodies what you are going to do you are going to add the fluorophore tag at the fc end right and now here the actual procedure will start now i'm going to explain you about the direct procedure of the immunofluorescence so now what you are going to do in the first step you are going to take a wide test tube so this is a wide test tube and now in this wide test tube what you are going to do now you are going to add the antigens. All of these blue color ball like structures which I have drawn are known as antigens. And how you are going to add the antigens in such a way that all of these antigens should get attached to the surface of the test tube. So if you see all of these antigens has been attached to the surface of the test tube, right? In that way you have to add the antigens, right? And now what you are going to do? Now what you are going to do is that here these antibodies which consist of the fluorophore tag should get uh, what we are going to do, you are going to pour all of this antibody solution which consists of the fluorophore tag into this test tube. So now what happens? As you placed this antibodies which consists of the fluorophore tag, then what happens? This antigen and antibody interaction occurs where the antibody will get attracted to this antigen and forms the antigen antibody complex. But make sure that the fluorophore tag is present because initially only we have attached this fluorophore tag at the FC end of the antibody and now this antibody will be placed into this test tube in such a way that that antibody which consists of the fluorophore tag will get attached to this antigen and forms the antigen antibody complex, right? So what I have said to you at the beginning of the video, this fluorophore tag mainly helps in the production of the intensity of the fluorescence, right? So what is the main aim of the immunofluorescence? To know the concentration of the antigen where it can be known only by the intensity of the fluorescence. Once you know the value of the intensity of the fluorescence, then easily we can determine the concentration of the antigen. Which antigen? Unknown antigen. Remember, you can find the concentration of the unknown antigen. Okay. So now here you have, you have added the fluorophore tag to this antibody in such a way that it will produce the intensity of the fluorescence. So how it can produce the intensity of the fluorescence? By the spectrophotometry method. Right, you know about the spectrophotometer, right? As if you see in the picture, this is called a spectrophotometer. So, if you put this uh, test tube here in that in that spectrophotometer, then it can show the value of the intensity of the fluorescence. Now, this fluorescence intensity value should be noted. And now, what you are going to do? Now, you are going to plot a graph. So, with the help of this graph, you can find the concentration of the exact concentration of the unknown antigen. So all of these are known antigen student, but if you uh, now you are going to take here known antigens, right, right. So now with the help of the known antigens here, the standard curve will be plotted. So how to know about the concentration of the unknown antigen? 
so you are to going to take an unknown antigen here and you are going to add it in the same way we are going to add the antibodies which consists of the fluorophore tag and then what you what happens then the intensity of the fluorescence will be obtained and that value will be obtained right from the spectrophotometer and that value should be noted and you have to plot it in a graph once you plot it in a graph then you have to extrapolate it once you extrapolate then what happens exact concentration of the antigen will be no right by knowing this exact concentration of the antigen, we can find the result. So this is the main aim of the immunofluorescence technique, right? So what is the main aim which I have said you in the principle? So this is the technique which is mainly used to know the concentration of the antigen or amount of antigen by the intensity of the fluorescence. So that's what I have explained you here. So what is how the graph will be plotted? First of all, you are going to take a graph and to that graph, you are going to draw the x axis as well as the y axis and on the x axis, we are going to take the antigen concentration. These brackets which I have drawn indicates the antigen concentration, right? And on the y axis, you are going to take the fluorescence, intensity of the fluorescence, the values which will be obtained by the spectrophotometer, right? And those values will be taken on the y axis. Antigen concentration are nothing but the antigens which I have placed in this test tube. That concentration will be noted. And here, when you take the known concentration of the antigen, then the standard graph will be obtained. Standard, uh, you know, standard curve will be obtained like this. But once you take the unknown concentration of the antigen, to determine that value of that unknown concentration of the antigen, you are going to extrapolate that graph, right, like this. And here, the, uh, for example, this is the case I have drawn here. This is the exact concentration of the antigen which I will get when only when the fluorescence, in, when intensity of the fluorescent value will be obtained. So how the intensity of the fluorescent value will be obtained? Only when this fluorophore tag is attached to that antibody and once that antibody will get interacted to the antigen, then only the value will be obtained. How that value will be obtained? By the spectrophotometer, right? So by obtaining the value of the intensity of the fluorescence, then only we can find the exact concentration of the antigen. So this is about your direct method of the immunofluorescence. So now let us discuss about the indirect technique. So here in indirect technique, what you're going to do is that in some, in some cases, here the antibodies, when you will interact with these antibodies towards the antigen, proper result will not be obtained only in some cases I am saying you about. But how you can prevent that? By adding the secondary antibodies. So here this is the antigen and this is the primary antibody. Up till now, uh, this is the same process which we have done. But in some cases, there will be no proper result which will be obtained, I have said you. Right? But to prevent that, what you are going to do? Now you are going to add the secondary antibodies. And this secondary antibodies consists of the fluorophore tag. And once you interact the secondary antibody to this primary antibody, which consists of the antigen, then the value will be obtained. Which value? The intensity of the fluorescent value will be obtained. How? Because the, a fluorophore tag is present, this fluorophore tag will produce the intensity of the fluorescence which I have said you. And this intensity of the fluorescent value will be obtained by the spectrophotometer right and that value will be again obtained and you are going to plot the graph such a way that exact concentration of unknown antigen can be known so uh, this is about the immunofluorescence so again i'm going to explain you in a short method see here properly this immunofluorescence will be explained in two methods direct method as well as indirect method so firstly you are going to take a test tube and in this test tube you are going to add the antigens like this and make sure that the antigen should be attached to the surface of the test tube and now in the other side, what you are going to do, you are going to take antibody solution where that antibodies uh, consists of the FCN, right? And to this FCN, you are going to add the fluorophore tag. And what is the main function of this fluorophore tag? It mainly helps in the production of the intensity of the fluorescence. That's nothing but it mainly helps in the production of the intensity of the fluorescence. Right? And now these antibodies which consists of the fluorophore tag should be added into this test tube which consists of the antigens. And now that antibodies will get binded to the antigens. And here the antibody consists of the fluorophore tag, right? And now once this antigen and antibody interaction occurs, then the fluorophore tag will get activated. Once this fluorophore tag will get activated, then the intensity of the fluorescent value will be obtained only when this test tube is placed in the spectrophotometer, right? When, once you place this test tube in the spectrophotometer, then the intensity of the fluorescent value will be obtained and you have to note them. After noting it, what you are going to do? You are going to take a graph and to this graph, x-axis and y-axis will be drawn. And to the x-axis, antigen concentration will be taken and to the y-axis, intensity of the fluorescent values will be obtained and it will be taken. Now, by taking the values of antigen concentration as well as intensity of the fluorescent, standard curve will be obtained. 
now once you are going to add the unknown concentration of the antigen now here the intensity of the fluorescent will be obtained to that of unknown concentration of the antigen and that intensity of the fluorescent value will be should will be drawn on this or as will be plotted on this y axis and antigen concentration will be uh, plotted on this x axis in such a way that you have to extrapolate it once you extrapolate then the exact concentration of the antigen unknown concentration of the antigen will be known right so this is the case of the direct method and indirect method to this primary antibody secondary antibody will be known uh, will be added in such a way that the fluorophore tag will get activated and once the fluorophore tag will get activated then the intensity of fluorescence value will be obtained once it is placed in a spectrophotometer then again you are going to draw a graph and again the exact concentration of unknown antigen will be obtained so this is about the immunofluorescence technique so hope you would like this video and if you like this video just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box and for notes on this technique will be given in the whatsapp group so the link of that whatsapp group will be given in the description box so by by using that link you can join us in the whatsapp group and once you ping me a message there i can provide you the notes thank you